Hello everyone. Uh, so today's video is regarding medical coding guidelines related interview questions. So I'll add a playlist uh, for the guidelines related interview questions so that you can check and practice those questions if you're uh, a fresher or an experienced person looking for the interviews and uh, mainly the candidates those who are into this hcc or any specialty they can use this so today we can see hypertension coding guidelines for coding hypertension <coughs> Hypertension code starts from I-10 to I-16. Essential hypertension or primary hypertension, the code is I-10. It is used when hypertension is not specified as secondary or malignant or benign. Do not use any additional code for primary hypertension. Second guideline, hypertension with the heart disease. As we studied, if with is present between two conditions, we have to give a combination code. So here we are assigning a combination code I11 point dash. The dash will indicate whether it is with heart failure or without heart failure. If it is hypertension heart disease with heart failure, the first code will be I10, hypertension with heart disease with heart failure and second code you should code for heart failure and uh, the next one is I11.9, hypertension heart disease without heart failure, you need to assign only one code that is I11.9 without heart failure, there is no need of any additional codes. The third guideline is how do you code a case of hypertension with the CKD. So if a pa patient is having hypertension with CKD, we will be giving a combination code of I12 point dash. The dash will indicate uh, whether it is um, uh, stage specified or not specified. So if CKD is documented as stage 5 or ESRD, you should assign um, uh, I12 first and second you should code for CKD with stage. Next one is hypertension with heart disease and CKD. Here the combination code, primary code will be for I13 and second code should be for the type of heart failure if it is present. Third code you should code for CKD with stage and fourth code will be for renal failure if it is present. Next we will see Secondary hypertension. Secondary hypertension means it is a high blood pressure caused by an underlying disease condition. So for coding secondary hypertension, first code will be secondary hypertension code from I-15 series and second code should be for the underlying disease condition such as CKD or endocrine disorder. Next comes hypertensive crisis. Hypertensive crisis is otherwise called as hypertensive urgency or hypertensive emergency. So the hypertensive crisis code starts with I16 point dash. The dash will indicate whether it is urgency, emergency or crisis. And we should use any additional code for hypertension also from I10 to I13. Next is hypertensive cerebrovascular disease. This refers to a stroke or other cerebrovascular event caused by related hypertension. How we will code? That coding steps are first code should be for the cerebrovascular condition whether it is CVA or it is a stroke or it is a bleed etc. And second code if it is cerebral like we have to check whether it is cerebral infraction or it is an hemorrhage that you have to check and based on that you have to give the code. Next comes pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary hypertension is a high blood pressure inside the arteries of the lungs. It is not same as the normal hypertension. So here we have two types of pulmonary hypertension. Primary pulmonary hypertension the, with, the, with the no known cause. For that I27.0 and secondary hypertension is caused by another disease condition I27.2. Hypertension resistant. Resistant hypertension is a high blood pressure that remains uncontrolled despite the use of three or more hypertensive medication or require four or more medication to achieve the control. So resistant hypertension you will give I1A.0. Always this will be a secondary code. Primary code should be for the hypertension. Next one, atherosclerotic coronary artery disease and angina. Atherosclerosis means what? Thrombus formation in the artery. So here we have 
two categories i25.11 and i25.7 i25.11 is for atherosclerotic heart disease of native coronary artery with angina and i25.7 is for atherosclerotic in the transplanted heart or bypass graft here no need to code the angina separately because it is included in the code intraoperative and post procedural cerebrovascular accident here you have to check whether it is an infraction or it is an hemorrhage and whether it occurred intraoperatively or post operatively if it is an infraction first to code for intraoperative infraction and then for the uh, infraction code next is acute myocardial infraction acute myocardial infraction is a sudden blockage of heart that is heart attack so in icd 10 cm it is classified into two whether it is stmi or it is non stmi and you have to check the timing whether it is a first heart attack or it is a subsequent one and you have to check for the site also which part of the heart is affected so here if the patient is coming with mi for the first time you will be coding i21 based on whether it is stmi or non stmi and the type if it is a second mi within 4 weeks of the first mi it should be coded as subsequent mi first you will be coding i22 subsequent and second you will be coding for the initial mi i21 if the new mi occurs after 4 weeks of the first mi first you should code it as new mi whether it is st or non st elevated and second you should code for old myocardial infraction so that's all about hypertension uh, chapter related guidelines you can uh, write take note of these things and you can prepare it continuously so that it would be easy for you to answer thank you so much for watching please do subscribe take care bye bye